Global Times, 27th of October 2022. China claims the German-French disagreement over Chinese policy displays a sour grapes mindset. Germany is highly reliant on globalization, just like China, and China is desperate for recognition. Germany is hoping that the deflating Chinese market will be available for business now that the Russian market has been gone. The EU's two economic and security pillars, France and Germany, have recently displayed differences on several issues, including energy, defense, and China policy. Unresolved concerns about each other's domestic affairs, as well as a developing tendency of imbalance between the two nations in terms of power and influence inside the EU amid the Russia-Ukraine crisis, are experts stated leading causes for this separation. However, China's policy exhibits a sour grapes mentality and a power struggle within the EU. Experts in Chinese propaganda In place of a more limited leaders meeting, France and Germany had a private working lunch at the Elysee Palace on Wednesday. Initial plans called for the cabinet members of French President Emmanuel Macron and German Chancellor Olaf Scholz to meet in Fontainebleau, south of Paris. According to a Wall Street Journal story on Wednesday, this annual show of Franco-German unity was unexpectedly postponed for January. After lunch, they reportedly discussed the general health of the France-German relationship and their positions on energy and defense, the two most prominent areas of disagreement. However, there was no joint news conference in front of the cameras, according to authorities. According to specialists, internal conflicts on both sides are one of the leading causes of their chilly relationship. How to organize the three-party coalition remains the top priority for Germany. Macron is confronted with a challenging choice in the French parliament. Making sacrifices for one another, such as on the energy front, has become more difficult due to problems in their internal affairs. A growing tendency of inequality between the two countries' overall power and influence on the EU is another factor mentioned by some researchers. Gui Hongjian, director of the Department of European Studies at the China Institute of International Studies, told the Chinese propaganda pop that Berlin's plan to strengthen its defense capabilities to become the best equipped armed force in Europe has, in the eyes of the French, upset the balance of power between the two nations and taken away France's strength, potentially leading to a change in who leads Europe. According to the Wall Street Journal, one of the topics discussed at lunch on Wednesday was Schultz's intention to travel to China next month with a group of business executives, this matter has become a source of frustration for European leaders who fear Beijing aims to pit Germany against its neighbors. According to observers, their disagreement over China reflects the EU's struggle over power interests. It reflects a sour grapes attitude when considering the close relations between China and Germany. Some in the EU have emphasized plans to divorce from China as a whole, while several nations are concerned that China might exercise influence on Europe through some of the EU's financially fragile member states. The EU still lacks a unified foreign policy position, and China's relations with Germany, France, and the EU are not mutually exclusive, according to Kui. China is considering leveraging these divisions against Europe as part of its divide and conquers plan. Furthermore, Differences in Germany and France's reliance on and proximity to China in terms of commerce contribute to their disagreement on China's policy. Compared to France, Germany's economy is objectively more globalized and dependent on the Chinese market. Therefore it makes sense that they would have different perspectives on their cooperation with China, the expert continued. The European integration process would face a lack of direction and declining impetus, which China hopes for as a split Europe benefits China. Observers have urged the two sides to resolve their differences as quickly as feasible. Macron and Schultz have both previously made an effort to minimize their differences. Following the meeting, Schultz noted on Twitter that he and his French counterpart had an excellent and important conversation today about a variety of topics, including energy supply and joint armament projects, and he emphasized that Germany and France are standing close together and tackling the challenges together. Last week, Macron told the media, it's natural that we don't always occupy the same positions. However, as I have consistently emphasized, European unity is crucial at this time, which is what we focus on. According to Kui, this Wednesday's encounter hinted that they wanted to mend fences. Because of the issues they are currently experiencing, they have remembered how crucial it is to continue working together rather than splintering, which might not be best for China.